Good day, it's Tony Fortune out from the technology firm. Today we're going to do something a little different. And this I uh, talk a lot about in my presentations and my classes. It's called tool calibration and understanding how the tools behave. And this goes into a whole bunch of other topics if we let it, but I'm gonna to try to keep it uh, relatively focused. So basically I talk about application signatures. And signatures are basic patterns that you'll see in the application so you can identify it. Um, so, for example, there was a, an application people like to use called What's Up Gold, and whenever it would go and pull something, the payload in the packet would say What's Up, that sort of thing. Now, that also goes into the security, you know, worms and trojans that kind of have patterns in the packets, but I, I'm, not, I'm not doing that right now, okay? This is something just network-based, okay? We're going to try to keep it focused, as I said. <laughs> try. <laughs> so here we go. We've got this trace file, and this is from a Fluke uh, Networks air check, little handheld tester you use in a Wi-Fi environment, and it can get an IP address, and it can go ping something. So I thought, hey, let's capture those ping packets. That way, in the future, if I ever see a ping packet, if there's a signature in there, I'll know it came from an air check, that sort of thing, okay? Um, so let's take a look at it. So there's a ping request, ping request, ping request, and no responses yet. And now all of a sudden we start to see the requests and the replies, that sort of thing. If I want to make this a little easier on the eyeballs, people are always asking me for filtering tips and tricks. You can just simply filter on ICMP because this is a ping packet. And there you go. See, that makes it a little bit easier on the eyeballs. The second thing we want to say is C is the payload of the packet. So the first thing I want to do is try to work within the details. I always avoid having all the panes on and I avoid jumping to the bytes as, as much as possible. So let's see what the details can do for us. So here we can see it says Internet Control Message Protocol. We open that up. Let me just uh, swing this guy up. And you can see there's the data. So if you've got really good eyes, you'll say, hey, I know what this is. This is hexadecimal A, blah, 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 which means, blah, 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 which means nothing. So what you might want to try to do, because this is where people say, well, then let's just go down to the bytes. And there we go. And then you can start to see the ASCII here on the right-hand side, which I don't want to do that yet. Let me show you something. So right from here, if I right-click, I can go to my protocol preferences. And it says here, show data as text, not hex. Click. And there you go. So it says it's truncated, but you can still read it. Hello, my name is Indigo Montoya. So for the people who remember The Princess Bride, that's a famous quote from that movie, and that is the signature of this tool. So just to take this a step further and finish the thought, this is also really helpful when you get to application baselining, because you might see a signature or a pattern in the packet as it goes through your network, and it may be multi-tiered or traverse multi-networks. So it's always nice to try to find an application signature or pattern that you can rely on. There you go. Hope that helps. Have a good day.